Hi, my name is Theodora Mavropoulos from DW and today I'm going to show you five things you can do on the island of Izra. Izra is one of the most cosmopolitan Greek islands and yet it is just 25 square miles long and has only 2,000 inhabitants. Located in the heart of the Argos Saronic Gulf, Izra's main industry is tourism. In addition to many international visitors, the island is also a favorite day trip destination for many Athenians. It's only a two-hour sail from Athens. Arriving on Isra Island, it's like time travel because there are no cars here. So, first I have to find a donkey or a mule to get my stuff to the hotel. Cars used by the municipality are the only motor vehicles on this island, as the other private cars and motorcycles are banned by law. Horses, mules, donkeys and border taxis provide public transportation. This is actually my small taxi to the hotel. Poston Lene? Selini. This is Cellini. Don't expect much action on this island. Here you won't find extreme sports or a party scene. Okay, so now that I'm settled in, this is my first tip for you. Get lost in Isra town. During the afternoon, most of the people have a nap. So the streets are empty and the town is yours. The entire island enjoys protected status. The best example of Isra's architecture are its mansions. Some of them are located right on the seafront. Their architecture reveals how wealthy, modern and influential the island was during the late 18th century. Walking around the town and you'll discover the elegant traditional buildings that have been lovingly preserved by the locals. Don't forget to check out the old pharmacy from 1819 on the main square. It's one of Isra's most photographed buildings. Isra is also known as an island of artists. In the 60s, many called Isra their second home. Henry Miller wrote on Isra, Sophia Loren, Richard Burton and Jackie Onassis were all visitors in the 60s and 70s. Singer Leonard Cohen even bought a house here. This street is named after him. Photos of the island are bound to include the well-looked-after cats. Hundreds of them live wild here. And here comes my second tip. Don't skip the local art galleries. I recommend the old slaughterhouse converted into an art gallery in 2009. It's only a 10 minutes walk from the main port. Isra town has no real beaches, but there are stone sunbathing platforms all around the port you can jump from into the crystal clear waters or use the steps into the sea. The fastest way to reach Isra's beaches is on the waterway. So my tip number three for you, take a boat to a beach. There are several services that run like buses. There are plenty of small bays, most of them pebbled, so no sand in your shoes. One of the famous ones is Vlichos Beach. It's a five minutes boat ride away from the port of Idra. The whole island is quite rocky. There are plenty of trekking routes that you can explore. <laughs> Safety first. Okay. And You can use your two legs. I personally prefer four. So, my tip number four for you, take a horse ride up to the mountains. It's wonderful. Look at that amazing view and the air is filled with the scent of wild herbs. 
To get your sweet tooth fix, try Idra's Amygdalota. So my tip number five, try the Amygdalota in the oldest sweet shop of the town. Opened in 1930, it never changed hands. Right, Dimitri? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The sweet shop began in 1930, it didn't have any την έφτιαξε την πρώτη ξεκίνηση η γιαγιά μου, η Άννα Τσαγκάρη ε, και πέρασε μετά στα χέρια του πατέρα μου και μετά σε μένα. Από μητέρα τη γενιά γιατί ξεκίνησε από τον προπάπο μου, τον Αριστίδη Τσαγκάρη και μέχρι σήμερα είναι ακριβώς η ίδια συνταγή. Αμύγδαλο, ανθόνετο, ζάχαρη, άχνη και λίγο συμμυγδάλι. Οκ, so let's try it. Mm, it's very sweet, really nice. Mm. It tastes a bit like marzipan. You should try it. It's very recommended. Isra, the tiny island with its cosmopolitan flair, links the present with the past and lets you slow down completely.